Jeff Stefanis, the late Jeff Stefanis graduated from Garraway High School. He was a girls basketball coach at Garraway from 1979 to 1998 and Sandy Valley from 2000 to 2002, compiling 379 wins. His teams won nine Intervalley Conference Championships, 16 sectionals, six districts, and two regional championships. They were the 1994 state runner-up and 1996 state semifinalists. He earned numerous IBC Coach of the Year and District 5 Coach of the Year honors. Coached in the Ohio Girls North-South game, coached in the Ohio-Michigan All-Star game, and was named Ohio High School Basketball Coaches Association Division III State Coach of the Year in 1995. Accepting the honor on behalf of the late Jeff Stefanis is his daughter, Steph. Please welcome into the Tuscarawas County Sports Hall of Fame, Jeff Stefanis. Hello. On behalf of my mother, Jean, brother, Greg, and myself, we'd like to thank Coach Dave Shutt and the Tuscarawas County Sports Hall of Fame Selection Committee for nominating and selecting my father into the 2024 Hall of Fame. It truly is an honor for him to be inducted with such a prestigious group of athletes and coaches. Congratulations to all inductees and their families. My dad started coaching girls basketball in 78-79, or 77-78 season. He and my mom were sitting in a tournament game the previous season, and he knew that Coach John Dean was going to be resigning from this uh, uh, sport that season, he looked at my mom during the game and said, I think I want to coach girls basketball. She said, go for it. And there it began. Um, he loved every aspect of coaching, whether it was teaching the fundamentals, scouting, which is crazy to love that part of it, uh, to watching film, to building the relationships that he had with other coaches. He would talk about sports all day if someone let him, so much that when we would go to games, whether they be Garraway games or not Garraway games, we were always one of the last ones to leave the gym as kids with him because he would find at least five or six people to talk to after the game. And we did not appreciate that, appreciate that as kids, but now as adults, we do. We wanted to get home. He built great relationships with other coaches in the area. And this is perfect because there's many Strasburg people here tonight, but Coach Hurst, I got one for you. One example that stands out, and he often talked about it, was um, I guess this is why the coach's box also got put into play. But dad said we were at a game, and it was our, our end of the floor, and he's out there yelling at everybody, and all of a sudden he feels someone standing right next to him. And he's like, what the heck? He looks over, there's Coach Ron Hurst standing right there as dad's telling him what to do, and his team's down there. Do you remember that, Coach Hurst? Yeah. We had many of things with you. Um, I could talk probably for an hour just on, on situations with that, but he really did strive and love that relationship that he built with other coaches. Um, uh, he took pride in building Garraway Girls Basketball into a well-respected program. In order to do that, he had to have strong assistant coaches. He had the pleasure to have great assistance over the years. Three coaches that kind of stick out to me were Coach Larry Compton, which is here tonight, Coach Bill Dunlap, who is deceased, and Coach David Border, AKA everyone knows Koozie. Dad always said, you should hire assistants that know more than you do because it makes you look like a smart coach. <laughs> While I only named three assistants, he had many others that were great over the years. Thank you to all of them. And last, thank you to his players that he coached over the years. Without all of them that helped him build the program, the coaches that sacrificed the time, and then the team that finally made it over that last hurdle, he would have never fulfilled his true dream, a trip to the Final Four. Well, we didn't bring home a state championship that year, you would have never known that looking at him. As he looked at the tremendous crowd that showed up there in the stands, he always felt like he had truly won a state championship just by making it and getting there. So we appreciate our family. He would love to be here today if he could. Um, this would have been a true honor to end everything for him. So thank you. <laughs> 